So here we have a function and this function is describing the motion of a ball and now we have some specific things we need to go ahead and define here. So h of t is equal to negative t squared plus 8t plus 25. The variable t is time in seconds. So as this ball is traveling, uh, t represents the time in flight. And then h of t is the height of the ball in feet. And the question is, when is the ball at its highest, i.e., how many seconds into flight does this ball reach its maximum? So if you think it can solve this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. And uh, by the way, this is a type of problem that if you're in algebra one, you should be able to do. So of course, if you're in algebra two, college algebra, this should be hopefully a easy problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. So what's going on here? Well, we need to recognize that we're dealing with a quadratic function. Okay, so this is a quadratic function. And uh, the graphs of quadratic functions are parabolas. Okay, now, if you didn't know that, well, you need to make sure you understand quadratic uh, functions, quadratic equations, how to graph uh, quadratic equations. So that's a whole, you know, big topic in and of itself. By the way, if you need help with any of this stuff that I'm talking about, you want to check out like my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 course. But effectively, if you did know how to graph a quadratic equation or, or a uh, quadratic function, it's not necessary uh, in order to solve this problem, but we could graph this function right here, and it would look basically like this. Now, why it looks this way, that's a whole other topic again, but basically you're gonna have an upside down parabola, and it's uh, y-intercept. Now, we're not talking about x and y-axis here because normally these t's would be x's, so the x-axis is going to be t, which represents time in seconds, and the y-axis is really h of t, which is represents feet for this, uh, basically this ball as it travels, um, you know, uh, through flight according to whatever seconds it's at, right? So hopefully that makes sense to you. But we can kind of get a basic reference point here. So time zero, okay, right here when t is equal to zero, if we plug in zero right here, we'll see that our height is 25. So what does that mean? Well, maybe we're uh, throwing this ball from a building that's 25 feet, you know, we're basically starting the flight of the ball that's on a uh, building that's 25 feet tall. But effectively what I'm saying here is that hopefully you have the skills and knowledge to be able to graph this parabola. So what we're looking for is the max maximum height of this ball is going to be at the vertex. In this case, it's a maximum, okay? So we're looking for uh, the particular, um, the specific vertex location, which again is an x, y point, when we're normally dealing with the x and y axis. But this, uh, in this case, the x axis is really t. Okay, so what we want to do here is uh, effectively find the vertex of this quadratic equation or quadratic function. Okay, and that will be able to uh, give us the answer. So that is going to be this, uh, the strategy. Now, if you didn't uh, see that if you're like, oh, now I understand. Well, go ahead and pause the video and see if you can actually um, calculate the vertex. But let's go ahead and take a look at how we do that right now. Okay, so basically, here is our function. When you want to find the vertex, okay, basically the vertex again is an x, y point, but we're not dealing with the x axis. Our x axis is t, and our y axis. Um, is h of t, so our point would be represented as t h of t, okay? But effectively, again, that's the same thing as an x, y uh, location. But the x uh, coordinate, okay, I'll just kind of make this nice and simple for you right here. So the x coordinate is gonna be minus b over 2a, uh, minus b over 2a, and then once we have that value, if we plug that into the function, and we find h of minus b over 2a, that gives us the y coordinate of the vertex, but all we need to solve this problem is this uh, x coordinate or the time, okay, for the vertex, because that is what the question is asking for. 
how many seconds or when is uh, when does the ball reach the vertex? Okay, you kind of think of it in that manner. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this now. So this is not difficult. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel before we finish up this lovely problem. Now, uh, you know, I am not af afraid to ask for help or assistance. <laughs> you know, yeah, certainly, I'm stopping this video and saying, hey, I need your help, okay? And the best way you can help me is to subscribe. Now, you might be saying, hey, why should I help you? Well, my goal, okay, I'm gonna tell you why you should help me, and hopefully this is a compelling enough reason for you to hit that subscribe button. But uh, my whole channel, YouTube channel, is, you know, my whole mission is try to, to is try to make math clear and understandable. Math is just one of these notorious subjects that so many people just don't like, or, you know, it really plays on a lot of people's self uh, image or self-confidence. And I know this because I've been doing this for many, 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 many years. A lot of people think that oh, I'm bad at math, uh, you know, and that can kind of translate into, I'm not smart enough to learn this subject. And guess what? This is not true. This is not true. But a lot of people, because they struggle in mathematics, will start planting these ideas in their head. Like, hey, maybe there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. Okay. And if you think that, well, I'm just bad at math and maybe I should just stick to, you know, whatever this subject, you know, again, there's serious consequences to not uh, being reasonably successful in any subject. Okay. But math just seems to be one of these, you know, subjects that people have a tough time with. So if you are struggling in math, please don't give up. You know, I'm just telling you right now, you can learn this stuff, but it does take a lot of hard work, okay? And you have to build your skill sets up one at a time. That is the truth. So if anyone is telling you um, anything different, like, hey, you could just learn, you know, uh, calculus in three days, well, they're just lying to you, all right? So be careful. And if you need help in mathematics, check out my full course instruction Um or my full courses, which I do my complete full instruction. That's what I meant to say. You can find links to all that in the description. So whether you're at pre-algebra, algebra one, pre-calculus, geometry, doesn't make a difference. Now, if you are not a math student, check out my math skills rebuilder course. That is a great course for those of you that want to relearn uh, math uh, starting from the very, very basics. Okay, so thanks for giving me a little bit of time to uh, tell you what I'm all about, but now let's go and get back into this problem. So again, the formula is minus b over 2a, so we're dealing with different variables here, but don't let that confuse you. So we have uh, minus t squared plus 8t. What you want to be thinking about is the general form of a quadratic equation. So instead of t, we use x squared. So you always want to remember ax squared plus bx plus c, because this general form of a quadratic equation written in standard form is what we use to uh, solve quadratic equations with the quadratic formula. Okay, so it's the same kind of setup here. So a is going to be equal to negative 1. Of course, that's the coefficient in front of the uh, squared term. Okay, in this, case, in this case, it's t squared. So there's a negative 1 right here. So a is negative 1, and b is the number in front of that linear term. In this case, it's t. Okay, so b is equal to 8. So a is equal to negative 1, and b is equal to 8. So now all we have to do is just plug in these respective values. So again, the x coordinate or the t coordinate for the vertex is minus b over 2a. So let's go ahead and uh, calculate that right now. So minus b, again, b is 8, so I'll plug in 8 right there, over 2 times a. a is negative 1. So we end up with negative 8 over negative 2. And of course, that's going to be a positive 4. So that's basically it. That's what this represents for this x value. You need to interpret that that's the that's the, the t coordinate in our vertex, which represents uh, time. Okay, so the time to reach the maximum point, i.e. the vertex, is 4 seconds. So that is the answer. But let's suppose, as a bonus here, I said, uh, what time will the ball reach its uh, maximum and how high will that be? Well, all we need to do is to plug in that four seconds into the function and that's basically just finishing out finding the vertex. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we just plug in four into the function. This is when, uh, how many seconds into flight where this ball will reach its maximum. And you can see when we plug in and we do all the number crunching for this function, 
we have h of 4 is equal to 41, meaning that at 4 seconds, the ball is 41 feet high, i.e. it reached its maximum. Okay, so hopefully this all makes sense. Now, this is pretty, uh, pretty standard type of problem that you're going to face in Algebra 1, quadratic equations, definitely Algebra 2 level kind of problems. Now, interesting enough, this problem can be easily solved using calculus, but of course, I was tempted to kind of throw that in, but we'll keep it nice and simple. We'll just focus on quadratic functions, quadratic equations, it's a big, big topic, okay? So if you're uh, in an algebra course and you don't understand this, well, you need to kind of clear up any confusion, and of course, I want to be able to help you along the way. All right, so if this video was interesting or helpful in some small way, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.